Hello, my way. <coughs> okay. Don't die on me. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is 22 Tiger Dude. I am here with Saran Reyes J here. Hello. And we're both here to review this November. movie. November Man. Yes, we're here to review the November Man. The CA operative that comes out of retirement. He's been training this person, but something tragic happens. And then, you know, a few years later come by, so he comes back. And he finds himself against the former person that he used to train. Going into November, man, um, I really only saw the trailer once, and I'm all like, eh, I'll, I'll see how this movie goes, I'll give it a try, and that's all I can really say. What about you, man? How did you feel about November, man, going into it? I, when I saw the trailer, I thought it's like, alright, yeah. but my true feeling was I wanted to see how the full story of the thing. Yeah, the November, man, is one of the worst movies I've seen this year. <laughs> and it is the most boring movie I've seen in a long time. In fact, pulling this poster already makes me young. Get out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> I actually enjoyed the story. And for me, I caught most of the stuff. I caught about what yeah. was already going to happen next anyways. Yeah. But most of it was a little bit lost because it was showing the... Uh, the main character, like, who's gonna be the next good guy, who is gonna be the next bad guy. Yeah. Like, who's not the bad guy, who is the bad guy. Like, the one about being a good guy or a bad guy, that's yeah. the part I was a little bit lost, because, you know, all, yeah. a lot of questionnaires and hunting yeah. random people. I wanted to at least somewhat enjoy this movie, but I just couldn't get into it when... I basically have nothing good to say really. Like I do have a positive, but like in terms of the movie, nothing about the storyline intrigued me. The action scenes really bored me. The actors, they try. That's all I could really say in terms of a positive for November Man, just that the actors try. The acting wasn't bad honestly. It just wasn't anything too special. And when and when it's a movie that <laughs> And when it's a movie that has an uninteresting storyline, uninteresting characters, boring as hell action, it just doesn't save it. No, uh, that's, a, that's how I was in the theater. Like, I didn't sleep through the whole movie, but it would be an on-off thing where I'm sleeping for 15 seconds going, and, and I wake up going, Ugh. That's a lie. You actually slept about an hour and you farted while you woke up. You woke up. Just kidding. No. I'm just playing about the farting. This movie, you guys, was so impossible for me to stay awake through. I know a couple of people in the movie theaters was falling asleep and had trouble catching up on it. Uh, yeah, exactly. It's all like the movie tries to start, but it doesn't quite start. And then it's all like in the first 30 minutes, they try to start the plot, but it's all like they're not sure how. The movie actually takes so long to get somewhere that by the point it tries to get somewhere, I just don't give a crap. Like I said, I was bored as fuck watching this movie. And when I criticize a movie I don't like, you know me, Sir J, I always criticize based on how many positives, negatives I've seen, whether there's more positives or more negatives. Mm -hmm. But with the November Men, I really had a hard time actually finding something I liked. Like I said, the actors tried, but that's all I could really give this movie for positives. Like, it seems like they're trying to do it going to A to B, but instead of going to A to B, it looks like they're trying to go to A to Z. Yeah, exactly. They just weren't quite sure where to start with the storyline or even yeah. go anywhere with the storyline. Yeah. It really feels like nothing really happens. Like, yes, you have your action here and there, but when you look at storyline-wise and what the characters are doing, in my opinion at least, it feels like nothing really does happen. Yeah. And, like, it's just, like, the only plot thing was, like, they didn't show, like... They don't really give enough, like, a stories to the characters. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. They didn't give enough, I guess, I guess the past story. For yeah, each, yeah. For each person, like, what was the reason. The only thing they showed was about the past season was that one character of that little girl. 
Yeah, that's true. That's true. But not not enough for the all the other characters. They, it's all like they focus on a backstory on one character, but not on the other ones. Is that yeah. what you're tr trying to say? Yeah. And they do add a little backstory to her, and it's a tragic backstory. But like I said, I'm so bored watching a movie and so uninterested. That I really just don't care. I really like Pierce Brosnan, but even he wasn't enough to really save on how dull and really dumb the movie is because the storyline in my opinion really isn't very well written it's very dumb it doesn't make sense it tries to make sense but it just doesn't yeah it doesn't get to the point being that part yeah exactly the november man is one of the worst movies i've seen this year it's the most boring movie i've seen in a long time it's a movie i had a hard time staying awake the storyline wasn't interesting at all the characters weren't interesting at all the action sequences weren't anything exciting there's no tensions to them i'm gonna give the november man really low half out of four stars that's right half a star out of four is what i give the november man it was that boring to me, it was that, uh, it was that dumb to me. It's a bad movie, but it's more boring than it is bad, <sighs> in my opinion. So, good for you guys if you enjoy it. Good for you, Sarah that you enjoyed it. But me, I, uh, it was a painfully boring experience for me. I only enjoyed it because, you know, with the actors, they made it, they tried to make it, make it possible. They kept you invested? Yeah. Because they, you know, like the direct, they, they put a few humor things, but yeah, I think they should have added a little bit more into it. Instead of like taking itself way too seriously. Yeah. To me, it just felt very lazy. I really felt like it was a cash grab. Like they just made this movie to earn uh, to earn your money and that's it. That's how I felt, honestly. Yeah. All the graphics and stuff and everything was well done. Yeah. It's not awful or horrible or anything like that. No, but... and I'm not saying the action scenes are bad per se. They are well filmed. It's just that they're yeah. they're not exciting to me, you know. For me, the way I see it, they, like everything else, they did it like perfectly. They took their time on it, but I think the only thing they didn't take their time on was the script. Yeah, I, I like, agree. Because I think on the script, they just rushed like what they it should be in there. The so stars, I give it a three, a point nine out of five. So despite uh, its flaws, you really enjoyed the movie overall. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's good, man. I respect that. Yeah, because they put the time and effort on the, on like what they could make out of it on the, to make the effects on it. I personally would recommend it, but if you want to see this movie, I say go ahead, cause you might enjoy this movie more than I did. So, Sarah J, thank you for viewing the November Man with me. You're welcome. So yeah, everyone, the November Man. I am 22 Tiger Dude! Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!